guys, here welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'll also welcome back to the mathematics class for this upcoming, for this ongoing bike examination. So in this place, in this uh, particular video, I'm going to expose some top repeated question that you should be expecting in this upcoming work examination, mathematics work examination. This video is very, very important for you. If you are the candidate work for this year, you are writing mathematics in the exam, this one is very important for you because I'm going to share, I'm going to expose the most repeated question in any work examination that deal with mathematics. This is most repeated question. No matter how, you can escape uh, the question that I'm about to explain and uh, to show you. That I'm about to drop in this video, you can never escape it. So, so guys, if you're just watching our video for the first time or visit our channel for the first time, do it to subscribe, like, also turn your button. In case you don't have a like this, you will be the first person to be notified. Also, share with a friend to benefit from this video. So, without wasting much of time, I say this particular video is most important for the kind of that I'm writing work. This year, I'm writing mathematics as a general mathematics as a general subject. So I'm going to expose on top repeated question in mathematics for this oncoming work examination. So let's go to the first question here. The first question you will be familiar with the question. So I'm still not feeling difficult to solve the question on that topic. Okay, the topic I'm revising is indices. Okay, you can't you can't escape it. This question will always come out. In any of in any Y examination, in any exam, either Y or NECO, indices is always come out. So let's look at the first question. Let's look at you solve the question. The question and let's go to the first question. You can see the question on display on the screen. So let's say I have the question here. Say that should simplify. We have a simplify one over nine is eighty one with power of s minus two. Okay, equal to and uh, we have equal to twenty seven with power of 1 minus s close brackets so we are told to simplify this question so this is indices question right okay let's go you know in this part now we have a 1 over it's 1 is power s minus 2 equal to 27 with power of 1 minus s so the next thing to do here now when it's in a question like this is to when you have this part okay let's say we have to part this first part and the second part here so if you remember this part here if you remember law of indices okay let's say the law of indices that we have here here we have a negative law of indices. A negative law of indices is that if you have an expression a is power of minus a from express, whenever you see an expression like this mathematics, it is what negative or it's inverse. Okay? So in this place, and this is we can explain this minus we have here, it is simply as one over where this a is raised part of this word n. That's where it is part of n. And therefore, when you have an expression like this, you can interpret it to what to what we have here. You can tap it towards what we have here. So let's compare it now. Now in this part now, this one is in form of this. Okay. So if we should spread this one and back to what we have here. So in this case, this one over here is the same thing as the words. This minus here is this not this one over here, and this one over is the same thing as this one uh, minus here. So it means that our base here is uh, our base here is what is a, and our base here is what is our index here is n. So therefore, if you compare it to what we have here, let me compare it to what we have here. You have a is about minus n, okay? That will be equal to this our a is represented as it's one. So let's say our a is equal to it's one and it's one. So our s, our n is equal to this. Our n is equal to n s minus two, okay? So if we replace the what we have here, this one becomes the expression we have here become our a, our a is equal to it's one minus our n, n is equal to this, that's the open bracket is power of s minus two plus bracket. So we have expressed this one in form to this now. So to be equal to we have 27 plus power one minus what s plus brackets. So if you should look at this uh, this part now, we have this part, this one is h1, this one is 27, the base they are not the same. So what we do to make this base here to be the same? So, so what the first thing to look at this thing, you know, this number here is a, and the number here is an odd number, this is also an odd number. And if you look at the factor of it, 3 is common to both sides, okay? 3 can divide by it's 1, 3 can divide by what? 27. So let's express this h1, let's express it in index form. So if you think about h1, it one can be expressed as in this form since three is, a, three is common to both of them. So what are the number three raised power of what that give it one? That is three raised power of four. We have what is it one? Three, three times three times three times three. In four places we give us it one. So the same thing applies to this. We have twenty seven. We have twenty seven. 
3 can go to 27 right? 3 base power of 4 that will give us 27. That is 3 base power of 4 of 3. 3 base power of 3 will give us 27. So let's pick what we have here. Let's pick to what we have here. So in this case, our each one, instead of writing this each one, should be the 3 base power of 4 of 4. So here we have 3 base power of 4. Also open bracket, here we have minus what? Open bracket S, minus 2, close bracket, and close the bracket of this. We have equal to 27, we have 2 base power of 3, we have 2 base power of 2, we give our 27. So open bracket here, we have 1 minus what? S, close brackets. So the next thing to do here now, okay, let me cover this, so let me say. The next thing to do here now, since the base here and this base here they are the same, so it means that the base here can cancel the base here. So in this case, we have, we left with 4. Open bracket minus open bracket s minus two close bracket and close the big bracket of this as equal to here we have three open bracket here one minus what s close brackets. So the next thing to do like this now is to open our bracket we have here. So the first thing here, you use this minus to open this uh, inside bracket here. So it's before open bracket minus times s times minus s minus times minus here we have plus here we have plus two close bracket is equal to let's open the bracket we have here three times one that's three three times minus s that's minus three what's s so we close our uh, we have solved the bracket of this so let's open the same thing the bracket here four times minus s we give us minus what four s and four times uh, plus four times two we have eight okay equal to and here we have three minus what three s so the next thing now, this will give us a simple equation, is to collect the like time, okay? So when it says special like this, you collect the like time, because we have S here, we have S here, we have a number here, we have a number here, so it's called the like time. So let's take this onto this side, and let's take this onto this side. So we have it as minus of 4S, let me take this minus here, when they touch this with the sign here, we change to a plus. So you will give us plus what, 3 words, S, equal to, here we have 3 here already, that's 3. So take this plus 8 to this place. This plus here, after you touch this word, this equal to it will change to minus. Here it was 1 minus what? 8. So in this place of minus 4 plus 3, minus 4s plus 3s, we have us minus what? S equal to, and since here, 3 minus 8, that gave us minus what? 5. So therefore now, we want to find the value of s. It's not of minus s. So s is coming to both sides. You can do s, you cancel one. I mean, Minus is coming to both sides, so we cancel this minus, you cancel the minus here. Or you say that the variable side of the coefficient of s, and the coefficient of s here is minus 1. So if you say that the variable side of the coefficient of s, the coefficient of s here is equal to what? Minus 1, minus 1. So this one, we cancel this one, we cancel this. And now we make our s is equal to 5. So our answer is equal to 5. For this expression, the value of s is equal to what? 5. So that is the solution to this question. Okay, guys, that's the first question for this today class. So let's go to the second question, guys.